Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. My name's Abby and today I'm gonna give you a little daycare tour. I've been um, filming and posting daycare vlogs for the past couple years and I never have done like a proper tour video on YouTube. So I thought it'd be fun to show you around daycare and let you see everything. House is empty, it's a Sunday, I have no kids here right now. It's fairly clean and yeah, thought I'd show you around. I just tidied up a little bit. So let's get started. So this is my entryway. This is where everybody comes in. That's my front door. Um, that leads upstairs. We don't go upstairs. That's where like my bedroom is and stuff. But this is where the kids come in. And these are our little cubbies that they put their bags and their shoes in. Um, and then right here I have a bin that has the nap mats in it. And then at the end of the hallway, I have a closet where I keep various things. So this is our backpack we take when we go for our walks. Um, I have these, these are just bags from Aldi that I use to put their nap beds in, but they're all home right now getting washed. So none of them are actually in here. Um, so each kid has their own bag with a number. I keep like extra like sunscreen up here from last summer. I need to go through that. Um, I don't even, I think that's some extra clothes. This is a seat for a baby, extra height chair that I just don't need right now. Um, another height chair I don't need right now, a baby bassinet I don't use right now, baby carrier, um, air conditioner that I'll probably put in in a couple weeks because it's getting close to summertime. Yeah, that closet basically is for nap beds and just hodgepodge of extra stuff. It's not neat, it's not very tidy, but the beds are organized and that's what matters. Um, all right, let's move on into the next area. I will say, so from the hallway, there is a doorway into the living room where we spend most of our time. So like, there's the front door and right here is a little doorway where um, you can see into the room, but then we're gonna go this way. We don't use that gate, I just leave it closed. We come around the corner and here is the dining room. We'll go into the living room first. This gate, I don't um, latch, I just, it wedges, I know this seems silly, but it wedges in, in there and the babies can't open it, but once the kids get old enough that they can open it, they're old enough to know better to not open it unless I say so, but it just makes things easier. For example, if I am feeding the baby a bottle and one of my big kids like needs to run to the bathroom real quick, they can open the gate themselves and go and it just makes it easier because if they were latched, that would just be a little bit more difficult. So that's how we shut the gate here. All right, then we'll move in. And here is where I have the toy shelf. It's a little disorganized right now, but I the kids know which toys go on this toy shelf and I don't make them put them in an exact spot. I don't make them put them up there neatly. As long as they get these toys into the toy shelf, it's fine. And I also, I have all of these out like this because I was spraying them. So I wanted them to kind of air out before I put them back, like all the, coins from the piggy bank are out because I was spraying them. I sprayed them yesterday and I was letting them air dry before I put them back. And I just never got around to doing that. But yeah, we just keep some toys here. So here is where it's on top of this toy shelf. I keep, I call it my um, snot station. So we have tissues, garbage, hand sanitizer. And then this is the yuck bin where I put toys that have gone into kids' mouths. And then up here is just a basket. These two things I wanna throw away, but I just haven't, I just threw them in here. So I keep the markers for a cleanup chart. I used to just keep them in here and I didn't feel like digging through the yuck bin to find them. So I gave them their own little basket. So yeah, that's this section here. And this this is um, actually the picture is from different calendars I've had and I have a bunch of different pictures behind this and I switch it out with the seasons. And then right here we have a pack and play for my youngest. Here's a little corner area with just a couple toys. So it has the stuffy bin and then um, this mermaid toy thing that they, they love that mermaid toy. Um, shout out to my friend Leanne for giving me that. I know you're watching Leanne. So thank you for the mermaid thing because they love it. I have some decorations on this wall and then here's my couch. Sorry, my blanket behind the couch isn't folded, but I don't really care. Um, there's the couch and then here is where I change diapers. So I have the diaper pail here and then I have some baskets here. Each kid has their own little basket with diapers and wipes um, or a bin, a basket or a bin. It just depends. Some of these kids are potty trained. So I really like to see this one's empty. I can go through these diapers and probably get rid of some of them, but I haven't done that yet. 
And then up here I just keep diaper creams and the cleaning spray. I spray this on the table after each diaper change and I just use one of the kids wipes to wipe it. And then here we have just a little bookshelf. Give us some more light. And the kids love just playing up on that little ledge right there. So I have this big armoire here. Up here is where I keep our circle time board. Um, I've shown this in other videos, but this is our circle time board. And there's that. Okay, and then in this top cupboard, the kids do not have access to this top cupboard because it's a mixture of kid stuff and my own stuff. So I have like nail polish up here, my bike pedals, some board games. I have extra bags for the diaper pail, cards, um, stuff for my Xbox. Sometimes I'll get these drawers out for the kids or magnet blocks. This big, I have this big like alphabet drawer thing. Sorry, I don't feel like pulling it out. Some other just like smaller toys. These are toys that are too small to leave out because they are technically, some of them are like a choking hazard because they some of them have like smaller blocks. But if I have just bigger kids here, I can get them out. If the kids need kind of like a change, like some new toys, something to get them excited and focused, I get that stuff out. Um, but we don't get it out very often, just every once in a while if we need to change it up. And obviously the smaller toys I don't get out if the baby can have access to them. All right, so I have, what else do I have in my internet router, some movies. This is The Chosen. Has anybody ever watched The Chosen? It's a TV show about the life of Jesus and it is amazing. Highly, highly recommend. I bought the DVDs because I they had some extra content on them. I haven't watched them yet, but it is for free. If you just search like The Chosen on Google, I think season one's on Netflix and the website it's called Angel Studios, so if you Google that, but see like Angel Studios, you're in the right place. So I highly recommend this show. I'm going to put a little plug for Jesus in there. Um, hair ties, if the kids need their hair pulled up, I have bigger ones here. Files, paperwork, boring stuff. So we'll close this up. And then, fun fact, this armoire in my dining room table in my china cabinet, and I have a dresser upstairs, all came from my parents' wedding. It was theirs. Um, and here's just extra circle time stuff, random stuff. The kids don't mess with this door either. They just know to leave it alone. And then we have this door here. It has bins of toys in it. I switched out. I used to have bins over there full of toys and bigger toys in here, but I made that switch a couple, maybe like a month or two ago, just because the little baby kept dumping bins after we'd already cleaned up and it was just really... It was just too much, so we switched the bins over here. So I have like people, a big phone, some food, blocks, my bins. I bought these at the Dollar Tree and I'm not loving them. They are very flimsy, so I'm thinking of what to do to get different bins. I might buy more of these bigger ones, but I was trying to minimize and have smaller bins, so I'm still noodling on that. And I have a bunch of um, dress-up stuff in here for them to play with too. So those are the toys, and I will explain why. Okay, if you noticed, one handle is backwards, and okay, so see how it has this little lip on it? If I close it, it makes it harder to open. So the big kids can open it, but the baby can't. And I've done that, for, I've had that this that way for years. Like, my youngest kids can't physically open it, and once they get old enough to open it, they're old enough to know better to not open it. So then they're not getting toys out when they're not supposed to. So that's just what has worked for me. Um, and then I just have fireplace here. Sorry, I kicked my water bottle. Kids like walking along that ledge and bouncing and they jump off it. They stand on it and sing and pretend it's a stage. Have the TV. We use that to watch shows or do circle time. I'm watching The Good Wife right now, so don't mind that. All right, then we'll come back in here and we'll show you the dining room. So this is the little table where most of the kids sit. I can have six kids at a time, so sometimes some kids have to sit up here. If Right now I have one baby who always sits in the height chair, so when she's here, only one big kid usually sits right here. If she's not here, then I'll have two big kids just sit here and here. There have been times where I have had to have three height chairs. You saw two other height chairs in there, so there's been times where I've had so many little kids that I've had to have three chairs full of high chairs because none of them can sit at that little table yet. But right now I just have one that needs to still sit in the high chair. The rest of them 
can sit at the little table. There's a couple that I don't let sit at the big table because they aren't quite big enough yet. Also, with the little table here, I always have some sort of little decoration for them. This is an outdoor table, so it has an umbrella hole. So that's the reason for the placemat and stuff. But then I was like, you know what? This is, I want it to be more homey. So I switch out these decorations depending on the season and just give them, I don't know, something fun. And then here I have my decoration. I haven't really decorated for spring slash summer yet. I just had those flowers and threw those in there. I put the Easter stuff away and I just haven't redecorated. I want to go to the dollar store and find some stuff. Um, here's my mantle. Just pictures. Don't mind my dying plant. I keep forgetting to water it. Um, here's my little mantle here. My grandma made me this. Isn't it pretty? I have different ones of these that I change out for the seasons too. And just some more family photos and here's my china cabinet um and the top obviously is for china and then down here i just have art supplies so we have mats for painting or play-doh a bunch of paper crayons markers um i have stamps and ink pads in here more paper and more markers puzzles more puzzles and in here are colored pencils and then in here are some flashcards. and then up here i have this is my okay these are some worksheets i laminated okay i'm trying to i know there's stuff with kids names on i'm trying not to show you so i have like these are laminated so they can use dry erase markers on them um so i have like numbers this is a girl's name we were working on letters they can just practice writing i don't have any of the kids doing this right now and then i made newer ones that kind of look like this um but there is a couple little girls who i am going to start maybe doing this in the summer just let them practice writing different letters and stuff and yeah that's that and then i have some coloring books and in here i keep the dry erase markers pencils Sharpener, glue sticks, stickers, all kinds of good stuff in there too. And then I just keep my little vacuum thing here. Just a little, another little radiator cover with some decorations. I have a, just a lounge chair in here. Um, that light back there, sometimes I use for filming. So I, if I need better lighting, uh, there's all my Funko collection. I bought eight of those i bought eight once upon a time ones on the top and then all the rest were from family members or mostly like there were several daycare families that would just buy me funkos for christmas and my birthday so they really helped me fill up my cabinet it's so cute and then we come in here to the kitchen i brought my jumpy jump into the kitchen um the kids like to come in here and play magnets the magnets are a mess i didn't even clean them up for this video um and i have to contain the little one sometimes i don't really let her wander around too much so i put her in there um and then i'll just give you like a big overview real quick my entire kitchen everything is my stuff except for this area over here so this area is all daycare kid stuff so each kid has their own section um like these girls are siblings so they have the same section the baby has two areas because she still has bottle stuff and then I have some girls like, okay, this is two different girls. They aren't siblings, but they come on opposite days. Like one girl comes on Monday and the other girl comes Wednesday through Friday. So I just let them share an area. And so, yeah, each kid has a plate and their cups. I haven't filled their cups yet because it's the weekend, but normally their cups go in here and they put all their cups on the bottom and then each kid gets their own basket. I go through their lunch boxes and just stick stuff in the fridge that needs to be refrigerated like yogurt or like if they have a sandwich or whatever, chicken nuggets, I just put that stuff in the fridge and everything else just stays in their lunchbox up on that shelf. I have a little like dust pan if we need it. Here's where I keep stuff to wipe down tables or um, their faces if they are really messy while they're eating. I just keep different hand, these are just all different hand towels. Like here's some Christmas ones and here's some um, Easter and Valentine's Day ones. And then these are the dirty ones. They're in a bin here and I just take, I wash that like Whenever it gets full, I have my little robot vacuum, my printer's over there. Yeah, and the rest of the stuff is just my stuff. And then there's my fridge. And then we come over here to the bathroom. So these are their hand towels that they dry their hands with after they go to the bathroom. Each kid has their own. 
And then here is our little bathroom. We have a little instruction sheet on how to wash our hands because we were having a little trouble remembering. And I really need to reprint this and, and laminate it, but I haven't gotten around to do that yet. So yeah, here's our bathroom with the stool. Some of the kids still need a potty seat, but there's that. And then this door here leads to the out back. So we will go out there and I will show you out back real quick. All right, so here is the back porch. We typically play down in the grass. I did have the playhouse up on the porch for a while, but then I brought it back down in the grass. So they have this decent sized yard to like run around in. They have this little playhouse that they love. And then I just have some toys in here. Um, that bin's full of different kinds of toys. But yeah, that is outside. Alrighty friends, that is daycare. It's very simple, very, I don't know, it's not very big, but it's my daycare and I love it. And I just, my goal when putting together this daycare was to um, have a place where families could bring their children that felt like home. I wanted it to be homey, I wanted it to be cozy, I didn't want it to feel super structured or, not that we don't do structured activities, I just wanted it to be more homey. That was my number one goal was for it to feel homey. Sorry about my foggy glasses. And I think I've accomplished that, I don't know, I like it and the kids have fun and we just have, we have a good time here every day and I thought I would give you a proper tour. I feel like I owed you one, so that was that. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Press that subscribe button if you haven't already. All of those things really do help out my channel and I would super, super appreciate them. If you wanna see other content from me, come find me over on TikTok and Instagram. And I'll be back soon with another video. Bye.